We will uh, call the meeting to order. The purpose of the hearing is on the role of allies and partners in U.S. military strategy and operations. I think this is an enormously important topic and one I know many members of this committee have worked on um, for quite some time. I think all of us at the witness table and many of you have spoken to the importance and the value that alliances and partnerships bring to the security of the United States. So I think that um, those alliances need to remain at the center of our national security strategy. But there's been a bipartisan tradition of alliances and partnerships being valuable to the U.S. And I think it made sense in the past. It makes sense going forward. It's very important that the European members of NATO continue to make progress towards the 2% GDP pledge in 2024. Um, and, but, but I think, you know, we, we oversimplify and sort of focus in a myopic way on that 2% number. It's as important as how much countries are spending is what they're spending that money on. Uh, so I'm as interested as seeing Germany, for example, you know, go from, I think, about 1.2% of GDP to the 2% mark. But I'm also focused on, are they spending that defense money on the right kinds of capabilities that we need to be able to deter Russia, for example? Certainly, I agree that cooperating with our allies and partners on technology issues is an important thing that we should be doing. I think one of the most important things we can do is along the lines of something that Mr. Colby brought up earlier, which is to, in our planning processes, in our force development processes, to have much more robust and detailed dialogues with some of our closest partners, uh, like the UK, for example, in Europe, or you know Australia, Japan, in the Indo-Pacific, for example. And not only should we be talking to them about sort of what traditional conventional capabilities they can bring to bear um, in, in a potential war fight, we need to be talking with them about um, AI, about cyber technologies. And in many cases, those countries are, are quite innovative.